Hello boys, how you doing? Check out the bird's nest. It's good to see you, it's good to see you. Um, sorry it's been a while, it's been about a week or so. Um, I'm not really one to churn out like, you know, daily videos like everyone else. I just kind of uh, stream most days. So if you haven't checked it out already or if you're not aware, check out my Twitch. I'll put that below. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say, um, if you haven't already checked out my Twitch, please do. I mean, I stream there most days. Um, but also, I have recently started a Discord server, so we've got a few few lads in there, a few few boys uh, with myself on the Discord server. We've got the ladder coming around, you know, pretty soon, hopefully three weeks, fingers crossed, right? So if more of you want to join in there, um, then we can, you know, get get some of us together and help each other, you know, really nut out this, this ladder start. It'll be quite fun. But without further ado, let's jump into uh, the build for today, shall we? Uh, click on the right one. Boop. There we are. Nice. Nice. Looking nice too. Feeling nice. Smelling nice. I showered today. Did you? Ah, but let's move on. So this is my Poison Zeal Assassin. So the main fundamentals of this build is obviously Zeal, which we are getting from Passion Rune Word, which you've probably seen before. I love this thing, don't I? Love it more than you, dare I say. And Poison. So, I wanted to use Zeal and I wanted a way to kind of amp up the physical damage. So, what better way to kind of use that on the Assassin than to just kind of bump up Venom. So, in conjunction with Venom, Venom actually overrides the poison duration that is kind of given to you from other pieces of gear. Such as why I have a shit ton of small charms that have 100 poison damage over 5 seconds. A few with rares where I need them, um, but mainly, you know, 100 poison damage over 5 seconds. So... Poison damage from Venom, it applies that over 0.4 seconds. So if you look at um, my sheet damage here for Zeal, it's 4,500 to 5,300. Looks pretty nice, right? But that is mainly from here, all of these that are applying it over 5 seconds. I have yet to actually cast Venom. So if I cast Venom now, my sheet damage is lowered. Why is it lower? It is lower because the duration overrides the duration of other poison damage. So... It does not mean that I get 100 poison damage dished out every 0.4 seconds every time I hit. It deals 0.4 seconds worth of whatever the total is on that item. So, it deals 0.4 seconds worth of 100 poison damage over 5 seconds, if you catch my drift. So, it is applying all of this on a kind of quicker turnaround. And when we're hitting so fast with Zeal... With our, you know, burst of speed up, uh, what is that giving us? About 51% at level 16, and Zeal at 5 hits, we're going to be dishing out all that poison damage instantly. We're not going to have to wait the standard 5 seconds for whatever this total is. So that's my kind of summary. Let's jump into stat skills. We'll go through the gear, we'll see what Arshab is doing, and then we'll do a showcase. I've got a portal up ready for Throne of Destruction, so we can just get right into it. Now, I've got my nice aim near of off meta, eh? Eh? Cheeky. Um, strength base is 108. We've got dexterity is 115. Vitality is 272. Energy is bugger all, as usual. Resistances, I've just got enough to kind of bump me over the edge, such as like a fire res charm here and there. Um, also do have my Annihilus and a Hellfire, which is, you know, somewhat average. Uh, when we're looking at the rest of our stats, what is important? Our attack rating is a little bit on the lower side of 2500, but Arshab, big boy over here, is actually running Blessed Aim. So that helps us quite a decent chunk. I believe um, it bumps us, it gives us another like uh, 4,000 4, attack rating or about, you know, 3,700 thereabout. I'll show you when we get to the showcase near the end, but we'll move over to the skills for now. Starting in martial arts, we've got Bugger All, we've got Bing Bing Bong, just to get one into Dragonflight so we can kind of zip around the map and tele stomp enemies. Shadow Disciplines, this is where a chunk of your stuff is. Um, for a while when leveling, before I kind of got somewhat decent gear, I was actually taking advantage of Shadow Discipline skills because most of our damage and output is really coming from this one tree, so you're not missing out on much if you can't get you know, the plus all to assassin skills. But there is still, you know, some benefit from doing that, of course. So, burst of speed, I recommend getting to 16 with plus skills. Everything above that, it does it does start to have diminishing returns. It's the same for weapon block. It's also the same for other skills on builds, such as, uh, like, some 
some Amazon builds that use, you know, crit strike and penetrate, which is probably most of them right, um, but they start to have diminishing returns from 16 as well. Um, down the left, we've got one of the fade to max out on Venom. That's our poison. We've got all the ones down here maxing out Shadow Master to help us out. And we've got max down, not max down, we've got 1.1 that's down on the right side just to have access to some utility skills. Now, traps, this is the rest of the rest of our stuff. Uh, we've got down here on the right-hand side, one into Blade Shield. Why do we have one? Um, it does bugger all damage, but we don't use it for that. We use it because it applies our poison damage on top. So it applies our Venom, and it also applies our other damage. With, with Venom, um, all of our other poison damage cut down to 0.4 seconds on uh, hits of blade shield which is great so i actually noticed getting one point in here is actually worthwhile so if we cast that and then we drag a flight into a mob they're getting hit with that shit while we smacking them in the jaw with you know our passion scourge now on the left hand side we've got um all our points maxed out for the death sentry i know that you could probably make a much stronger hybrid of you know getting lightning sentry and maxing out that sort of thing but i wanted to prioritize shadow disciplines Poison damage and zeal is the main focus, and then traps as support. So yes, it is a hybrid. So I went with maxing out death sentry first to get corpse explosion, to get that radius, and then now all my leftover points I'm putting into lightning sentry just to max out the death sentry damage. So it does over 1k there, which is quite handy for certain immunes and, and whatnot. Uh, let's show Arshab over here. As I already showed you, he's got blessed aim to help with our attack rating boost of plus 330%. It's quite quite good. Um, you can run like Holy Freeze is a good option if you want crowd control. Um, also, like might if you want an extra physical damage to you know give you a bit more uh, leech and sustain. Uh, some of you are probably waiting for that burp, weren't you? Yeah, yeah you probably were. So we've got um, Galim's face, G face with uh, uh, forty ED uh, treachery, and we've got Reaper's Toll with a shale. So I found out that Decrepify is quite handy uh, with the crowd control, and also. Um, mobs that are affected by Decrepify, as you, as you probably know, they take an extra 50% damage from physical, and also half of the corpse explosion damage of Death Sentry is physical, the other half is fire, so half of that half is going to be doing extra damage to the mobs that I have, you know, uh. Decrepify applied. Burp 2, uh. burp 3. Um, going over to the gear, we have Passion Scourge. Love this thing, it's featured on, you know, quite a few builds already. Probably going to be more in the future. Now for the helm, I've got a plus two, 30 faster run walk, and other handy stats such as dexterity and resistances. The jewel I have in there is just more resistances. So that is, is probably the, the best thing I've found for the helm. More plus skills, mobility, and then whatever whatever else you need to cover. My case was res. So amulet, I've got Mara's. Plus two, all skills on here was quite important because we needed to get f uh, five hits at level four for zeal so that's the minimum level we need to get it to to get the most hits possible which is five we, we we need to be hitting the most we can so we can dish out that poison damage it doesn't actually matter about the physical damage itself of zeal for the shield we have um i've got a storm shield monarch i found in most cases this was actually the best it has it's hard to really compete with the survivability bonus that this thing does give uh but for a while i was actually using this uh, headhunters with three facets because we are using other gear um, like our bramble and our trangs i've yet to get to the minus poison resistance on here does actually go a little bit further in, in helping us provide more damage to to certain mob types so moving over to our bramble this does roll from 25 to 50 poison damage but mine sadly just just average mid-range mid-range billy uh, i've got 36 uh, but N not too bad not too bad it's a i wanted an excuse to kind of make this room word for once because i haven't actually made it yet and i quite enjoy it. i think it's a I think it's a cool cool room word to have i've got trangs to amp up the poison damage in conjunction with that i have my raven frost since we're melee string of ears since we're you know melee pretty much and i've got a dual leech with with res and your classic ghoul riders which you'll see in most melee builds now, for charms, I've got my Hellfire and Annie, and then the rest of these that I showed you. I do have, you know, a bunch of these with, you know, whatever kind of mods that are handy uh, that I kind of picked up. 
Um, but I think let's just kind of jump into the run. There's not much else to kind of show. Um, I do have my blade shield and things, so I think I will just jump straight into... You know what? Let's go to um, Eldritch first. We can buff up, and then we'll go straight into Throne and, and show you there. All right, so let's switch. So I do have my CTA and my Spirit here. So which one do I have on? Is it this one? Yes, it is that one. All right, so we go that one, then we go this one, then we go that one. Then we buff up again because I did it in the wrong order, but that's fine. Switch back and Dragonfly in. So I'm not going to be casting traps here just to show you guys how well it does perform without. As you can see, not too bad. Pick up some of this so I don't forget on the way back. Being able to Dragonflight um, quite consistently does actually allow you to really target elite packs, especially with a hard-hitting mercenary with crushing blow, decent attack speed, such as Arshab over here. With Reaper's Toll and G-Face. It's quite good. Pop over straight to Shank and boom. Nice and easy. Need to make sure I walk back and not portal, because then I... You know, get rid of my one throne up here. I've already done the hard yards for the showcase. Look at that. Throne of Destruction. All for you, boys. There we are. Perfect. So let's clear this with um, some traps. Put on C here. Make sure we've got our Venom applied. So we've got 3300. Cool. It's a pity that um, having Blade Shield it only lasts about a minute, so I do need to remind myself to put that up again every now, every now and again. Corpse Explosion is awesome. Um, I have tested this in slightly higher player counts and using Corpse Explosion in areas, even like Chaos Sanctuary at times. It does really help us to clear some of those tougher places. If I was to like just do this build and not even run traps just make it you know strictly see us have um but if, just just to make it like strictly melee it would be significantly different goddamn hydras man i swear the morning comes morning oh you gotta love that run speed though Should we buff up big man again? There you go. Chuck the sentries down. Even with all of these dudes here, they are poison immune, but we still deal a decent chunk of damage. Especially with the Gripify on, and we can target mods with the Dragonflight. There you go. They're all poison immune, but you still do a really good amount of a variety of sources of damage. Ass head. Hang in there, big man. We need you. These guys hit so damn hard. Here we are. Now we've got a few down. Death Sentry should do the work. There, there you go, boys. This isn't even the showcase of my build. It's just how well Death Sentry is. Uh, but it is great. It really is. Once you once you have kind of you know picked off a few enemies with Dragonflight. You really can just take advantage of their sentry. As for single target, where you don't really have bodies to utilize that, it still performs pretty well. Since we are locked into using passion here instead of something like a storm lash or a, a typical weapon that would have, you know, attack speed in conjunction with crushing blow, we're just taking advantage of the gore riders. Um, perhaps for bosses, I thought about swapping out maybe Goblin Toes might be a good option um, just to get some more Crushing Blow. But being able to Dragonflight to stick on an individual mob with not only your Shadow Master but also your um, Arshab over here. So you've got your G-Face with Crushing Blow and Reaper's Toll with Decrepify. You're going to be hitting pretty hard. 
unfortunately didn't get didn't get much from from that. Uh, but that is about the build. I tried to make it a bit of a bit of a shorter video, you know, because I know I like to yabber on and, and talk a lot. But let me know what you guys think. Um, this is just a cool little hybrid I put together. Try and give myself an excuse to make a bramble that I'm pretty happy with. I thought the the idea of just utilizing uh, venom to kind of amp up poison damage as a, as a source. Um, I do have a few other ideas of uh, a use for all of these poison jams, so it's not all gone to waste. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for the support again. Uh, leave some comments, leave some criticisms if there's something that I missed out that you think I can do to kind of make this build better. By all means, please let me know. I'm, I'm curious. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was weird. I thought it was quirky. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it too. See you guys.